I want to kill a ton of people and murder children. I'm going to be a professional sh school shooter. A BSO detective testifying today, reading aloud messages that Nicholas Cruz made online about wanting to kill people. Family members of the victims emotional in court. More evidence from his online searches revealing Cruz had been fantasizing about the massacre before he carried it out, killing 17 people at MSD. Local Times' Christina Vasquez has the latest from court. Christina. And again, remember, prosecutors here are working to convince 12 people, this 12-member jury, to unanimously decide on a death verdict. And so today, they presented evidence to these jurors to consider, which are some disturbing internet searches this gunman made, most of them spanning months, a whole year before the Parkland school shooting. This as they try to, again, prove that this was cold, calculated, and premeditated how to become evil in society. BSO digital data detective Nick Masters said in 2017, search for killing people. This is what the Parkland school shooter was searching for on Google and YouTube. How many rounds were fired during the Las Vegas massacre? Seeking information on several high profile mass shootings. Search for Charlottesville shooting. To include Columbine. How to shoot at 500 yards. He also searched for ammunition. Search for 1,000 rounds. Search for AR-15 mags. The detective also uncovering YouTube comments. I'm going to be a professional sh school shooter. He said the gunman posted. I hate my life and I want to take people with me. From August 2017. I plan on shooting them soon. To just over two weeks before the Parkland shooting, to include this one from October of 2017. I have no problem shooting a girl in the chest. Bullet pathway went across to the right side of the chest and caused injury to the uh, vena cava, which is the large artery it brings blood back to the heart. Dr. Craig Thomas Malik told jurors about how the bullets the gunman fired into Kara Lagren killed her. But there's so much energy with these bullets. And so it just tears um, skin, bone, organs. And at this point, these jurors have seen 14 of the 17 murder victim autopsies. Meantime, the prosecution also wanted the jurors today to consider some evidence related to, and you may remember this, it was a caught on tape jail guard attack. It's November 2018, nine months after the Parkland shooting, and the gunman in this case is seen in custody attacking uh, a jail guard, Broward Sheriff's Office. I'm going to unpack for you a little bit coming up at Local 10 News at 5. You're going to see the video, but also a little bit more about why the state is bringing that up to prove one of these aggravators in this case, again, as they try to seek a death verdict in this case. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Christina. And you can watch live coverage of this trial from Gavital Gavel every day on Local10.com, our social media pages, and the Local 10 Plus app on your smart TV.